Hello everyone and welcome to another Lens Studio tutorial. With the new 2.1 version of Lens Studio released, there are some really cool new features. I really liked the skeletal template and decided to apply a masking method that I learned from one of the Lens Studio Twitch streams. And if you want to learn some really cool advanced techniques, I'd highly recommend tuning into their monthly stream or watching the videos after they've streamed. So I'll put that link in the description along with the template that I'm showing you today. If you're downloading the template, make sure that your Lens Studio is updated to 2.1. So what I've done is I've modified the skeletal template to use the tracking as a mask that'll create some really cool effects that track to your arms and body. If you've seen my chromatic arms lens at all, then you might see something familiar in here. So if we go into the project, you'll see that we have three cameras. The only one you'll really need to worry about is the effects camera. This is where you'll add all of your effects. And if we go in here, we'll see that we have the tracers effect already activated. Um, I'll go ahead and turn off this analog TV. And now it's just the regular tracers. And we can turn that off. And if you wanted to, say, maybe put an image in there uh, and then have it mask out from the body, then you could do that as well. So I kind of just added an image of uh, one of the default textures. And you can see that it's kind of showing on the arms. And then, let's see, I also added a edge detection here and pixelation. So these are just some example effects. If you wanted to add your own, let's see, we'll just go to the objects panel, click add new. And let's add a post effect. Let's try the shake. Let's see what that does. And what you'll notice is that it adds it to a new perspective camera that's created in the scene. Uh, you don't have to worry about that. Just drag that shake post effect up into the effects camera. We'll delete this perspective camera. And then make sure that the layer is also on the yellow layer. So now you'll see that the shake effect is only happening where that uh, cameras being masked so on the arms that's a pretty weird effect but so you can also change the uh, skeletal tracking as well right now I have the head and the neck disabled um, and the hands but if I wanted to enable them and add a little bit more of a shake area then you can just do that and you can also go further and go into the example effects or I'm sorry the example textures and you can just kind of modify these in Photoshop or whatever image editing software you use and that'll kind of make it look better for whatever your particular use is. So yeah, that is the template. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment below. And as always, share your creations with me. I would love to see them. Happy creating everyone.